Okay, this is a dam in the rainforest of Barrio Sarawak. This man is clearing the leaves from the inlet uh, of the one feet diameter HDP pipe that leads to the generator. And there's a netting there to prevent the leaves uh, from getting into the HDP pipe. As you can see, the dam is uh, quite small. Uh, the water level is a little low because it's a little bit of a dry season. Okay, this is the four bay. There's a PVC pipe at the bottom that releases the river sand and the HDP pipe goes to the powerhouse. So this is a powerhouse about one kilometer down. As you can see, it is still uh, in a bit of an elevated position. The villages are down. Okay, this the, the HDB pipe goes into this yellow turbine. And the yellow turbine uses a belting to turn the red generator. So the red generator produces uh, electricity that that is controlled by this control panel. In the control panel, there is a microcontroller that controls a triac lake to uh, dump energy into this ballast. Okay. So basically how it works is uh, if you dump more energy into the ballast, the stator coils have more ampere, which makes it more magnetic, so the rotor cannot turn as fast. So that's how they control the frequency to be 50 Hz. So on the right is the, the uh, circuit control. So on the outside is a small drain that uh, releases the water to a lake. As you can see, the whole system is very sustainable, it doesn't damage the environment. Okay. On the other hand, this is the solar project in the same town of Barrio Sarawak. As you can see, it takes such a large land area uh, to power 350 homes. And uh, each home is uh, backed up by two batteries, which are quite expensive. As you can see, the solar panels are quite low, so I don't know how they're going to do vegetation clearing later. So this way they keep the generators that can produce as much power using diesel as all the solar panels combined. Okay, the last part of my presentation is the depiction of the rainforest of Sarawak. Uh, this should not be destroyed. Uh, these are trees that are very ancient and very tall. So a microhydro won't destroy many of these trees, like a solar project will.